ゃあいで空が落ちてくる You w a s s up 俺の胸に落ちてくる熱い心を鎖で繋いでも今は無駄だよ邪魔するやつは指先一つでダンサー You a s s up 愛で鼓動は早くなる You a s s up 俺の鼓動は早くなるお前もたださまよう心にな熱く燃えてる全て溶かす無残に飛び散るはずさ Lamarck in, a very successful powerlifter. Um, Lamar, can you tell us a little bit about some of the titles that you have? Well, I've won 15 world titles. Uh, I've been competing for 20 consecutive years. I'm the only person in the sport of powerlifting that's been able to uh, pull or uh, lift five times my body weight in one lift. I'm uh, the only person to total 12 times my own body weight in the, three com in the total. Um, that's basically it. Can you give us some numbers so the audience knows what they, what you mean about it? Well, I've totaled 1388 as a 123 pounder. I've deadlifted 639 as a 123 pounder. I've totaled 1587 uh, as a 132 pounder. I've deadlifted 683 as a 132 pounder. Wow, that's uh, very impressive. Now, I'll obviously, you've been in powerlifting for such a long time what do you what do you like about it that keeps you coming back meeting new people uh, traveling I enjoy the travel uh, I enjoy uh, the camaraderie that I get from meeting new people uh, and it keeps me healthy I have scoliosis uh, so I always like to do things for my back and deadlifts I think uh, it's very very good for the back uh, and other exercises that I do uh, allows my body to stay in better shape so I continue to compete. How long do you plan to compete? I really don't know. I used to think that after I won my, by the time I win my 10th world title, I would retire, but obviously I haven't. Uh, I thought of winning 20 uh, world titles. Uh, who knows if I'll win 20. If I do, will I stop then? I really don't know. I don't want to make any kind of prediction. Where, what do you do? What is your profession? I train people for physical fitness in Denver, Colorado, and I'm starting a nonprofit organization to train the youth, the inner city kids in Denver, 
And what advice would you give to someone who's interested in starting out in powerlifting? Number one, think of being healthy. Think of getting in good shape, not so much of just being strong, but get your body in great shape. Then you can always build from that. That's your foundation. How about coaching or training? What kind of advice were you given a beginner in that, in that respect? Never try singles when you're starting out. Give yourself plenty of months before you do anything like that because it doesn't really do anything other than tell you exactly where you are. The most important thing if you want to get stronger is to do reps. What do you like most about the powerlifting other than the camaraderie? The competitiveness, uh, setting records. What would you change about powerlifting? Politics overall. I think it's uh, things that's uh, the way the politics is right now, it's really hindering us from being in the Olympics instead of helping us. Uh, I think a lot of new things uh, must change before we can reach that point. And now this is the week of the Olympics. I mean, I really feel it. So uh, I really would like to see a major change in that. What do you think we can do to uh, enable powerlifting to get into the Olympics? Do whatever the IPF, the IOC, ask us to do. Uh, we're on their territory, so we, we need to abide by their regulations. How do you think powerlifting can gain more visibility? By more people trying to promote it. Since you're such an excellent powerlifter, can you tell us a little bit about your training protocols? It varies. It depends on the season. It depends on uh, what, uh, the type of shape I'm in. Uh, the meat I'm going towards, uh, but overall I, I try to eat healthy. I try to get enough rest because recuperation is a major part of it. Uh, I do run. I run anywhere from a half hour to hour and a half depending on the time of the year or how close I am towards a contest. Uh, I do very high reps. I do very low reps. High reps meaning I do sometimes 25 repetitions. Uh, low meaning I do triples, uh, sets of triples. So, uh, and I do assistant exercises, but they vary as well. Uh, how important do you think diet is to your training? Well, I think whatever you, if you eat junk food, you get a junk body. I mean, if you, if you eat healthy, you get better response. I mean, if you're not eating anything that has any nutritional value, what, what do you expect out of that? So if you eat things that's healthy and that will benefit your body, like car carbohydrates, uh, protein, uh, the vitamins that your body uh, needs, uh, if you have all those type of things in your diet, I think it's going to benefit you versus uh, a Twinkie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Having been in the sport for such a long time and probably having seen a lot of people and a lot of organizations come and go, what do you think about the future of powerlifting? Well, I want to think of it on a positive note. Uh, it's going to grow, uh, but we have to get lifters really supporting their organization, and we have to unite. I think powerlifting, uh, if we could band together, we're only, we're only going to become stronger. Uh, years ago, when I started out, we only had one federation. Now, who knows how many federations there are. But um, I think the only way we're going to really grow as a sport is to unite. Do uh, you have any last remarks or comments or opinions about powerlifting that you'd like to share with us? <laughs> well, it's been fun for me, and I really, truly want to share it with other people. Now, take a look at the concentration on Lamar Gant, who has won more world titles in powerlifting than anyone in this competition. He's in the 123-pound class. Lamar is a fantastic lifter in the bench press and especially in the deadlift. Now. Look at the arch in his back here. Yeah, people that say lifters are muscle-bound should take a look at Lamar Gant. This dramatic arch, this improves his leverage. This is 320, a world record. Yet, oh, unbelievable, unbelievable. He lifted it with power to spare. 122 and three quarter pounds is what he weighs, and he's going to try to deadlift 634. If he pulls this, this will be the greatest pound for pound deadlift ever made, and he has done it. He did it. Look at the length of the arms. 
but he's happy about it. Yes, yes sir. <laughs> the Marquette, the Mico, from Denver, Colorado. Accepting congratulations and well deserved. Marquette versus Denver, 120 kilos. Lamar Gant, first attempt, 120 kilo. Lamar Gant, second attempt, 132 kilo. Exne segraren, han är amerikan, han heter Lemmer Gant. Han har sammanlagt 575 kilo i marklyft, kliver, kliver han fram på rampen när alla andra har slutat. Titta så elegant det går, 245 kilo, enkelt såg det ut, eller hur, men så enkelt det är.